name's Eddie, and uh, come see some of the projects I'm working on. Okay, so we've got some drainage issues with this driveway. Um, this house sat empty for almost 10 years and layers of leaves and all sorts of stuff have laid on top of this driveway and we actually just shaved off about six inches um, to get things pitching away from the house, the water um, to go out towards the street and towards the ditches. So this side of the street, um, this is after it's all raked out with the York rake and everything. Um, and it's going to be an ongoing process, obviously. I mean, this looks pretty rough. <laughs> um, you can see where the ducks are in the chickens. We didn't get to scrape it down there. It's pretty soupy. The ducks really love it, but I don't think the chickens do. And we are trying to get this property back into shape um, from being empty, empty for so long. Um, you can tell it's pretty soupy and to do any sort of projects there's a um, engine swap video on these two trucks coming up um, this black truck is going to be my new daily driver truck um, it's a 2500 hd with um, a six liter in it um, and a snow plow uh, so much better than than my old half ton truck um, so stay tuned for that if that's something you're interested in. Um, and now we're going to get set up here to take the 8N down to a cup of York rake to rake out the um, driveway, all the ruts, uh, kind of straighten the yard out. In the background, you can still see that we're still taking down the uh, old barn that used to be there. Uh, we pulled it down last year uh, in the fall, but then winter came, the snow, the ice, things are frozen to the ground. Um, so this spring we'll be getting into that as well. There's a lot of projects coming up. Um, there's, there's plenty to do, so <laughs> stick around if you wanna see um, this property kind of transform. That's, that's our um, goal here is to just make it a nice place to live and um, a usable place. Okay, so if you look in the barn through all that mess is a concrete block structure. Uh, that is how we boil our maple syrup. I build the little um, thing every year and um, there's a chimney that goes through the roof and we boil our maple syrup in there. What is this for? Uh, last year it was a little venti and uh, sometimes the fire got away from me. <laughs> so I'm trying to make it a little tighter so that it doesn't get away from me. Why are you building a, why are you building this? Uh, to to um, have less. What is it for, Edward? Oh, it's for sapping, <laughs> obviously. Well, that's a pretty good boil. Well, that one will be catching up pretty soon. Nice day out. Okay, so obviously when you start out, things are always going to be a little rough, and that's pretty rough. <laughs> but it works, and we make some pretty good maple syrup. I am excited to share that video of the motor swap video on those two trucks. Um, it is quite difficult when you don't have a pickup truck. I just sold my pickup truck. I had a newer one, but it was a half ton. The black one is a 2500 HD, a little bit older. 
uh, but it has a snow plow it's a heavier truck and it should be fine for it should be plenty for everything I need to do um, my newer truck had uh, active fuel management the Chevy 5.3 liter um, where the cylinders shut down to four cylinders on the highway it didn't really seem to help gas mileage that much um, but collapsed lifters are definitely a, an issue with those motors so I'm going back to more of an old-school truck um, and it should be a little bit more bulletproof I hope okay so we're back from picking up the York rake from down the street I lost a, a bunch of the footage on the way back so uh, it's pretty much the same thing though um, so now we're taking the driveway down, taking that top layer of muddy, uh, mushy, I don't know what you would call that layer, but it was, it was not good. <laughs> um, and we're just trying to get down to something a little bit more solid. And underneath the top three inches was like a nice layer of uh, like pea stone and gravel. Um, so just scooping it down a little bit more, putting dirt where it needs to be and uh, the girls are raking out some, uh, some of the dirt there that was left over. Of course, with that muddy clay mix, uh, top layer, the bucket got stuck full of stuff, so we had to scoop it all out. It's uh, surprising, this is actually in March, um, the beginning of March, and we had like a nice day where everything thawed off. And um, the next day it looked like this. Come on, you. And then the next day, uh, pretty much all this snow melted off and we're back to uh, a brown winter again. <laughs> So this backhoe I bought on uh, the Facebook marketplace, um, it was pretty cheap. It was $2,500. I, I got it with a flat tire in the front and I told the guy I want to drive it home. Uh, he was a little nervous about it. Turns out the differential was locked up in the back, um, which made turning it impossible. Um, but I did get it home all eight miles. on back roads so there's hardly any traffic but we'll do some fixing up of this tractor um, on the channel here and uh, try to get it back in good working order so that we can do more fun projects with it now we've got the york rake going now all these uh, high points and low points can all get raked out and um, it's amazing how how well this tool works um, just for grading. If you have a simple project, this is definitely the tool you want to use if you have the time. <laughs> it does take a little longer, but results are always good. So now we're heading over to the other side of the street. Going to take care of the ruts and everything from digging everything up and disturbing the dirt. Um, over to the left of the screen there, you can see a GMC Yukon. Um, that needs lifters. Uh, it has collapsed lifters as well. <laughs> as has that 5.3 Chevy engine in it with the active fuel management. So that's gonna be further down the um, line here. We'll rebuild those after the trucks are done. Um, and so hopefully this summer is a fun time with lots of projects and lots of things going on. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to see more.